everybody. This is Jessica with the Five Waiting Wombs. Happy Thursday. I hope that you all had a really good week. Um, this week we're doing the 15 Weird Facts About You tag, and this is Fun Week. It's my favorite week because it's not so serious and we get to have a little bit of fun. And because this is a tag, I am going ahead and I am tagging you guys. If you have time today after watching this, just make a video response. I'm going to leave the, um, the questions that we want to know about you below, and it's just a fun way for all of us to get to know one another in the community. So let's get started. What is a nickname that only your family calls you? Well, my name is Jessica, obviously. I get a lot of Jess. I get a lot of Jesse. Sometimes I get Jay. Um, but for some reason, certain members of my family still call me the baby. I'm 37. I'm the old fart on the panel of the five waiting wombs. But Sometimes I still get, how's, you know, my mother will still get, how's the baby? What's new with the baby? Well, baby's 37, but it's a nickname that will haunt me forever. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Okay. Um, what is a weird habit of yours? I don't really know if I have a weird habit. Um, I just did it. I suck a lot. That's all. Oh, that sounded so wrong. Okay. Um, I smack my lips. When I'm thinking, a lot of people say, um, um, but I've noticed in my past videos I do this a lot. Okay, well, um, so I guess that is a habit. I also crack my knuckles, which um, drives some people crazy, but I do it all the time. Sorry, I just had to. I got that urge. Let's see. Do I have any phobias? Any weird phobias? <sighs> okay. Um... I do. It's a really pretty big one, and um, I'm actually getting a little sweaty just even thinking about it. I am terrified of clowns. Not like Cirque du Soleil clowns, not the little clay mask clowns that you know used to have on your wall when you were 16 years old. I'm talking rainbow hair, floppy shoes getting anxious just even thinking about it. And Lisa did a vlog the other day when she said, sometimes you just gotta wear a clown nose. That was all cute and well and good, but as soon as I saw that red nose, I immediately envisioned her in white makeup and rainbow hair, and I got a little panicky. It's so bad that um, I will not go to a circus. My son, well, aside from the fact that my son will never be able to go to a circus because they treat their animals so poorly, I can't be around them because I will actually have an anxiety attack and I will cry. I've lost friends over this because someone once thought it would be funny as all hell to, you know, come to my house dressed up as a clown and I no longer speak to that person. That's how serious it is. Um, my husband once made me go to the pizzeria to grab, you know, we, we ordered pizza and I went to go and pick it up and I was at the pizza place for about... 45 minutes and my husband got worried and he called me on my cell phone. I was in my car having a panic attack because there were clowns in the parking lot. And he goes, he goes, well, what's taking you so long? I'm like, I can't get out of my car. There are clowns in the parking lot. He, he thought I was thinking, like talking about like punk kids, like troublemakers. I'm like, no, there are actual clowns. There's like 10 of them in the parking lot. There was a carnival that was going on down the street and they all went in costume to get pizza. So I waited for all of them to get into their minivan. No, they didn't drive like a little clown car. I had to wait until they were all gone before I went in to go and get the pizza. It's bad. But the weirdest thing about it is that when my cousin was five years old, I dressed up as one for his birthday party. It wasn't really until... I'm going to show you a picture. Here's a picture of me dressed up as a clown for his birthday party. Okay, so you're back. Um, it wasn't until that made-for-TV movie, It. It's a Stephen King movie. Um, I read the book. I loved the book, and it was fine, and it did nothing to me. It was only when I saw Tim Curry as Pennywise the Clown. So maybe it's not... Maybe I have a phobia of clowns and of Tim Curry because now I can't watch one of my favorite movies that was Rocky Horror Picture Show because Tim Curry is in it 
and every time I see his face, I automatically think of Pennywise. So if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, here's another picture of nice Tim, awful Tim, and a kind of so-so Tim. People are like, oh, they're clowns. They're all fun and happy and good. That's wonderful. It's all fun and games until one of, one of them lures you into a sewer with a balloon and rips your arm off. I hate clowns. All right. Um, <sighs> Number four. What is a song that you secretly love to blast and belt out when you are alone? There is no secret. This has happened to me on a previous vlog. Check out the Christmas Cookies with Jessica vlog. Anything 80s. Um, I especially love... There are three songs in particular that I will not hide from it. I actually roll down my windows so everybody can hear me screaming it on the top of my lungs while I'm in traffic. The Warrior by Patti Smythe. Uh, what a Feeling from Flashdance. Hello. And Fame from thing. So anything 80s. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? It's also one of my weird habits. I can't stand it when people crack their knuckles. I can't stand it when people pop their gum. I hate that. Um, I don't like it when I see people in the service, in uh, people at restaurants snapping at their waitresses or their bartenders. It, rubs me the wrong way. Um, God, I have a list of pet peeves. I don't like when people say supposedly. It's supposedly. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop there because we don't have all day. <laughs> I guess a lot of things peeve me. What's one of your nervous habits? Um, I do this a lot. And I bite the inside of my lip. I know one of the other girls had said that. But, uh, yeah. I just kind of close my mouth really, really tight. And another thing that I do is I do this. Because whenever I have tension or anything like that, I always get it in my hands and my extremities. So I'm constantly, like, stretching my fingers and stretching my wrists and stuff. That's a nervous habit. Okay. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Um, I sleep with my husband on my left side. So my husband's on the left. I'm on the right. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Number eight. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? Um, I think my first stuffed animal was a Holly Hobby doll, which was like a little rag doll, and um, I don't remember her at all. Um, I do not have her. I don't know what happened to her. Um, there are some pictures of me with a Muppet named Charlie that float around from time to time that everybody said, oh, she was crazy about Charlie. Um, I don't remember those two, but I do remember a pink raccoon that I had, um, and her name was Pinky Tuscadero. And um, here are couple of pictures of me with Holly Hobby, Charlie, and Pinky Tuscadero, the raccoon. What is the drink that you always order from Starbucks? This is number nine. Um, I like a, a grande decaf French vanilla cappuccino. Frappuccino. Oh, it's been so long since I've ordered Starbucks. What's the beauty rule number 10? What is the beauty rule that you preach but never actually practice? Probably washing your face before you go to sleep. Um, and not squeezing your blemishes. Uh, I'm not even going to get into that. Okay. Which way do you face in the shower? Well, when I need to wash my body, I turn it whatever side I am washing. But when I am singing, I usually face away from the water. Because you don't just wash yourself in the shower. I don't need to know what all you all do in the shower besides washing yourself. Anything other than singing, I don't need to know about. So leave those comments. Don't, I just, 
No. Okay. Number 12. Do you have any weird body skills? Okay. I personally do not know anybody else that can do this. I don't know how I learned how to do this, but it's something that I can never remember a time. Um, I can't remember a time not knowing how to do this, so I'm going to get really close to the camera right now. Okay. Oh, my God. I didn't shave my shave my eyebrows. I didn't pluck my eyebrows. Watch my bottom eyelid. It's weird, right? I don't know. Okay. So yes, I could kind of control my bottom eyelid. Eye exercises. Um, oh, and I have a ridiculously long and pointy tongue. Okay. What is your favorite comfort food? Food that is bad for you, but you love to eat it anyways. Taco Bell. Every Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, Taco Bell. I love it, and I love... Uh, mashed potatoes. I could eat a bucket of mashed potatoes with no problem. Oh God, now I want mashed potatoes. What is a phrase or an exclamation that you always say? I tend to do this a lot. Da 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 da. Ba 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 ba. Na 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 na. I do that a lot. If someone is saying something that I don't want to hear, I'll go na 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 na. If my son is doing something that I don't want him to do, I usually go ba 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 ba. My husband is going off on some rant about something that he saw on his way home from work, I'll go, no, 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 no. So that's my, I guess that's what I do. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? I am probably wearing a pair of sweatpants and a tank top, and the sweatpants will come off in the middle of the night because I'm a very, very hot sleeper. Um, it is March. It's still cold outside. We sleep with the air conditioner and a fan on because I am like a hot box when I go to sleep. So that's it for me. I hope you all still care to watch me on Thursdays and you don't think that I'm too weird. Sorry. This is part of the job description. We have to do these crazy things. I hope you still like me. Okay. So I'm tagging you. Do these below. It's a lot of fun. We want to hear from it. From you. Oh my god. What is wrong with me today? Anyway. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And again, if you have any comments, just leave them below. And be good to one another. Have a good week. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. Bye. Bye.